All right, so I just started winter field day in the RV in the front yard, okay? Um, so far, I'm going to climb up the tower real quick and show you the antenna I'm using for field day, but I've got 23 contacts already uh, on 15, 10, and 20. Uh, looking at the map here, that's about what I've done so far. And uh, this, this, this old radio, this old girl here with needing caps and everything else still seems to be working. Um, hasn't flaked out yet as it normally does sometimes. You'll have to restart it. Um, but uh, it is definitely working. Um, the, 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 bands are, the bands are totally alive. Uh, 20 is just booked. Uh, 15 is doing good a little bit ago. Uh, 10 meters, not so much. But let me climb up the and the tower to show you what I have. Now, here's the, the one half of it. I'm using the Chameleon Cha URT1. It's a universal remote tuner. I climb up here. The tuner's up top there. And uh, I'm going to show you what I have for an antenna and why I picked this antenna. This is not a tuner. This is a control box sending voltage over the feed line, over 100 and something feet of feed line on a 190 foot random wire. So uh, we're just going to climb up there and show you. All right. So here's the, <clears throat> the other side of the Chameleon Cha URT1, the universal remote tuner. The RV's down there. About a hundred, hundred something foot of feed line, right? This wire goes way over there by that telephone pole. Farther than that, can't really see. It's almost in a neighbor's yard. But what is this? So this is a, uh, just top of my tower. Got one little piece left to put up there. I'm making a rotor plate, which is going to go about here. But anyways, um, a remote tuner right here. At the feed point of the antenna, I'm using a random wire up top on the beehive connector. And um, that's, I think, 190 foot. And then uh, you have your ground counterpoise here, which is going, going way down over there, okay? So basically, the reason I chose this, it'll do 160 to six meters at 125 watts. And you can, uh, it's got 16,000 memories and it'll match this wire antenna up here from anywhere from five to 1500 ohms. That's a, that's a, turning a piece of wire that's not resonant at all into something that's usable okay now you could use this let's see this this right here this coax goes to the other end which is in the rv down there and what happens is when you use that coupler down there and you, you push the button you send a, a solid carrier into it and after about five seconds or less it's going to tune Sixteen thousand memories if you go back and forth between bands it remembers the capacitance inductance and resistance and, and whatever that you put in here or that's in there with the motor and the motor goes you know does what it's thing and and uh, or switching or whatever and and tunes it okay uh, you could use this with a coax fed antenna here or and i hope this is good enough because i'm in the sun here so i hope you can see this uh antenna coaxial antenna here so if you put like a, a, a vertical here a five band vertical and you want to use it for something other than what it's rated for for resonance you can attach this right at the feed point of your antenna and tune and it'll you know tuning at the feed point is going to eliminate all the loss and high standing wave on the coax that's all the way out to that rv over there all right um because putting a tuner at the radio or inside the radio what's that doing that's that's matching that's giving the radio a perfect feed point despite the coax losses, the you know, non-resonant antenna up here and stuff. Whereas using this at the feed point, this is going to uh, totally make that wire work, okay? And you know, it's like gangbusters on this thing right now. Um, with the length of wire, now you, there's in a manual, there's certain lengths of wire you want to avoid, certain lengths of counterpoise that are minimum. Uh, this counterpoise is a lot longer than minimum. Uh, however, um, it, it, this this Chameleon URT1, I've had this for a while, I haven't really used it. This is eventually going to be permanently on here. I just got it with the heavy duty 500 pound zip ties, uh, uh, but it's going to be mounted up here permanently. And uh, I'm going to use a couple different uh, methods of antenna on this. Now you can't, if you're using the coaxial here, you can't use the, the beehive up top and vice versa. You can only use one or the other. So I'm using a random wire, so I have nothing in this. Should you have a, a dipole or off-center fed dipole or something like that, you would put this right at the feed point with a jumper and or plug it you know, right into here, and then this goes to your radio. So again, the Chameleon URT1 had it for a couple years now, and uh, it's making this wire sing, man. It's really talking. So let me get back down out of here. There's my Tempest. Got my Tempest up there. If 
finally, and uh, I made it PVC, so it's kind of insulated from the tower in case of a lightning strike. And just be careful when you're on a tower or when you're driving by someone with a tower, what you're doing on that road. I've seen people eating bowls of cereal already, people, you know, reading newspapers and, and picking their nose. You never know what you're going to see when someone's coming down the road and uh, they don't know this guy's on a tower. So just be careful of that. Anyways, going back in the RV there, we're going to play some more winter field day. 7-3.